My name's Alan Hart. I've got a little bit of a treat for you today. I've got Russell, the inventor of the Hotton um, from the company Rartec. And he's gonna come he's come to do a demonstration of their their products. Um, what this this is a dry tun dish and you could use this if you if you're gonna install a new combi boiler into into like an airing cupboard or if you you want to get the PRV out but this can make it easier because you might have the drain there already, but it's it's not as easy to get the, the the pressure relief out. So this might be a product that you could use for that. But what I'll do is I'll pass you over to Russell and he will show you how to install it and also how it works and how to test it. So I'll pass you over to Russell now. Hi, my name's Russell Armstrong and I'm here today uh, this uh, test setup facility to show you the installation sequence of fitting a hot and high flow in this instance to a standard boiler with pressure relief and condensate. Uh, the pressure relief valve copper coming off. Take your uh, hot and high flow in this instance. It's the speed fit version. Simply push that into place. Um, on the, the condensate, what we use is a 32 to 22 rubber reducer. Simply push that into your T fitting. Like that. Push your push fit waste onto there. And connect your condensate. Then attach your waste fitting to the saw pipe. Obviously your um, strap boss has already been cut and put on and uh, sealed there. And then all you do simply is just to connect together. And we're done. What is the reason why would you need this, Russell? Um, well, for instance, if you've got uh, three of three scenarios that are the, 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 the best to explain, one would be a standard vented cylinder in an airing cupboard. Uh, where you would take the vented cylinder out and you might want to replace it with a combi. Uh, with the combi going in what would now be the middle of the house, your biggest problem is getting the pressure relief valve. So if you've got your airing cupboard, you then might have a short length of corridor to get your pressure relief out outside. And you might have to, you'd have to take your carpet, your floorboards, notch your timbers, cut your hole through the wall, and then press push your pressure relief valve to outside. Whereas in most unvented, uh, sorry, in most um, airing cupboards, there's a uh, generally a bathroom right behind it, and you would probably have already rooted your condensate to the bathroom waste. So what you can now do is you can combine the pressure relief valve with the condensate and run the same pipe underneath the bath to the bath uh, the bath waste, or if you've got a soil stack within the same vicinity, you can run directly to your source stack, cutting in the stub, stub waste. But why wouldn't I just use a normal tundish? Well, once you cut into your waste pipe, obviously the waste pipe or the soil pipe has, has got foul gases and odors and things, which with the standard standard tundish, that would, um, that would allow the gases to come straight out of the tundish. With the Hotton, we've got a, uh, a patent valve that's got a rubber diaphragm in the bottom, a rubber seal that remains closed with the spring pressure when it's not in operation, but still allows a small amount of water to pass through if the pressure relief valve discharges at a low, a low volume. If we've got higher volumes, and we can show this, or I've shown this on other videos, the water is allowed to pass out quite freely um, and with the, this particular model, it can go up to 25 litres a minute. But generally, on a boiler, the 
pressure relief valve will only just, uh, it will, what we call blip, it just release a little bit of water, the pressure dissipates and that's it. So all you do is get a small amount, maybe not even half a cupful of water passing through there. So that then allows that water to go through. So if I could show you a, um, what we call a trigger point test, I can um, show you how that, how that works. So part of the test our MIs uh, uh, ask the installer to do is a full flow discharge from the boiler pressure relief. That one's relatively easy. You can just um, open up the pressure relief valve to establish the flow to make sure it passes into drain correctly. And the other one is what we call a trigger point test or a trickle test. Now that's to make sure that the valve opens when we've said it will, it will open by design. That should be between five and 30 millilitres of water. So 30 millilitres of water is about halfway up the arms. So if we fill our syringe, um, and of course on site you'd probably use, you know, a lipped jug or something. So if we fill up a syringe, all we do is we introduce a small amount of water into the side of the tundish, and after a certain amount of time that will pass through. Likewise, on this one, a second product, so we introduce the water in there, that's about eight millilitres of water. Now this has got a slightly higher trigger point. And I'll show you why from, there you go. Now we've achieved a higher trigger point in this one with the demonstration of the insertion of a spacer washer which mimics the valve, uh, the, the, the spring being longer, so it's tighter, so that changes the trigger point, and that's how delicate that trigger point is. If on that trickle trigger point test, the water fills up to, to about the arms, there has something's gone wrong, maybe it's the downstream pipe work is running at a slightly positive pressure, uh, could be something wrong with the product itself, so we now need to find out what's, what's going on, Again, that's the importance of testing it. You find out what's going on now rather than go away, come back, and there'd be some, some something happen then. Um, so testing is vital in, in all aspects of installation. The good thing about the hot tundish is that there's open-sided construction. Now, if you're in a situation underneath the boiler, and maybe you can't get your head quite to see the bottom of the tundish, what you can still do is take your finger, dip it in there, and if that comes out wet, you know the pressure relief valve is discharged. You can only do that because you've got open sights. So that's very, very useful. Um, likewise on the smaller versions, um, they're, they're, all, they're all the same. So that is the... Uh, trigger point test demonstrated and the benefits that you get for open-sided. So that's your hot and dry trap tundish. I hope that you found that video useful. Um, I, I, I think it's interesting. It's an interesting product. It may get you out, um, out of a sticky situation on some installs if, if you're going to put a boiler in an airing cupboard in the middle of that house. If you've got a soil stack there, then this may be a product that you can use. I know that most manufacturers now say that you can use it. So if you have a look on there, um, you've got Worcester, Ariston, Valent Ideal, Navian Glowworm, Intergas, Vicera, Baxi, Potterton. So yeah, so it might be a good product for you. Thank you for watching.